Hi, I'm Doug Duncan, Dr. Doug Duncan, and this year has been truly remarkable. God has blessed us and been a part of the ministry beyond, well, I guess as expected, as we prayed for, as we vision casted and obediently went to the Dominican Republic and prayed what happened, God has performed in an amazing way. We're evangelists, church planning with Decatur Baptist Church in Northern Alabama and the sister churches, a network that's expanding and other pastors coming on board. We had six church planning teams come last year. Each of those planted two churches with the Timothy Initiative. The Timothy Project is a program of ongoing training and discipling pastors in the Dominican Republic and elsewhere in the world where the pastor not only gets theological training and Bible training, but also has a network with the mother church that connects them and gets ongoing discipleship. So as they're growing the church that's planted, they have a continued connection and continued study program, and their training center is springing up with a network of pastors in Dominican Republic. We found the man of peace. Pastor Barley Oportis is one of those. Uh, he was basically the Bill Bright of the Dominican Republic. President Medina calls him for prayer. Uh, although he's almost 80 years old, he's developed a network of trusted men in the Dominican Republic. And it's just an amazing, amazing uh, network of pastors that we've been able to work with and go from there. We invite you to join us on those trips. We have nine trips planned for next year. We just need bodies. God is moving. God is moving in a remarkable way. The revival is continuing. We just got back from a mission conference, the Global International Conference at Cater Baptist Church, and the church is on fire. The people at the mission conference that we worked with, that we experienced with, were coming and and greeting us and expressing what God had done in their life, what God had done to the Dominican, what God has done to that church with a body of believers, a local body of believers in the United States, just like we prayed for uh, two years ago. We had that meeting with that church that they would come and join us and send bodies. And as they've come and engaged faithfully in the work, God has brought revival and the fire back to that church. And people are changing. Lives are changing. People are getting outside their comfort zone. They're, they're experiencing brokenness in other nations. It's a perfect storm in the Dominican Republic for revival right now. The Spirit of God is moving. It, it's moving like it was when Paul uh, went into Greece uh, back in biblical times. Uh, the flag has the Bible at the center of it. The people have put the Bible at the center of the flag with the verse that says the truth will set you free. The flag has a cross in it and Dios at the top and a little cross on top. Uh, contrast that to Haiti where they made a blood sacrifice against Christ and literally... Uh, uh, tried to claim voodoo uh, as their national religion, and you see what God has done to that country. Right now, the people in the Dominican Republic are hungry. They're they're hungry like there's. We've been all over the world, and God honors that. God honors people that are hungry for His Word. He honors people that that have a desire for Him. Uh, there's infrastructure there. The infrastructure is such that you can start a church, a mother church, and that mother church can then form a training center. That training center can then plant churches. Those churches can get traction and plant other churches. Uh, it's just remarkable how that's continuing um, in addition to that. But there's a brokenness. There's a, there's a poverty. There's a, a brokenness that people become humble. And when you become humble and broken, it's an opportunity to share. And there's uh, 90% of the people... Although they have something, there's a brokenness and, and, and appreciation uh, for Christ. They love Americans. They appreciate Americans because of baseball, because of uh, the Marines liberated that country uh, back in the day. So they have a appreciation, a deep appreciation for Americans. And so we're received very well there. Uh, it's an amazing place. We're also doing uh, sports ministry with the kids. Uh, each of the kids, Andrew plays basketball. Now he's playing baseball. Uh, baseball is an amazing sport there, uh, as is basketball. We had 32 kids receive Christ with basketball and all received Bibles through the winter. And now already in his baseball season, 41 have received Christ and are being discipled by the coaches. Um, also with Athletic International Missions, there's two trips in the summer. They load up at 737 full of athletic equipment and bring missionaries loaded up in the plane uh, here in Guatemala and, and Cuba and the Puerto Rico, but two trips to the Dominican Republic. We have a network of coaches. The coaches receive the equipment. They're empowered. They receive... Uh, uh, I have sports Bibles, and they have uh, FCA-type sports Bibles that the Athletic International Missions brought down. And the coaches are then 
uh, giving the Bibles to the kids and a year-long discipleship program, so we're raising a whole new nation up for Christ. And this is connected to pastors and churches and a whole network that we have uh, on the North Coast and now in the Central, and that's spreading throughout the whole nation. The goal is to bring a whole new league of uh, through volleyball, girls' volleyball, through soccer with the Haitians, uh, immigrants that are over here, and also through the Dominicans, raise up a whole new nation for Christ. And that is unbelievable. Please go to a Athletic International Missions aim uh, missions.net uh, to see the website and sign up for a trip. You'll love it. It's an incredible trip. One of the best trips we've ever